Welcome to episode 34, part 2 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This is a continuation on of uh, boat building and building the rowboat. So in the end of the last part we had finished making a keel section. So I, in your absence I made the second one. The third one I'll leave like that as a tree until we're ready to fit it as the last component. Okay, so what we're going to do, carry on in this episode part. Oh, before that though, I just want to mention, don't tell Rainstorm that this is this rowboat is going to be a present for her, for all her, all what she has to put up with with me in these episodes and my nagging, <laughs> me nagging her that is, and everything. So here we are, wonderful present for Rainstorm. So, but don't tell her it's a surprise. Anyway, so. We've done our kill section. We want, we will need three, but I'm leaving that till last. Next, we're gonna make um, hull planks. Well, I've, as you can see, I've got 49 of them. So I'm gonna make now. Show you how to make a hull plank. We're gonna use the crafting window, and that's what I shall use for the rest of the components to show you using the crafting window and the recipes window. So okay, to make a whole plank we need a saw and we need a log. Now the whole planks as you can see are very heavy and use 8 kilograms of the log. So what we'll do down here in my cart, you'll see I've got a couple of logs that I can use. Let's use this 16 kilogram. So we'll drop that in our pocket. We've got the saw, we've got the log. Let's now add the whole plank. There we go. Let's try and organize this window so it's not such a mess. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, we can close that for now. Here is our whole plank. Always check in the window down here that it is the item you actually need. Rainstorm and me several times have made the wrong component for different items. Um, we may keep making um, a part for the wagons instead of a plank. So instead of making a plank, we keep making yokes. That's it. And it you, you burns up the whole log, so we're wasting loads of logs. Always double check that the item down here is the item you need. So we need to create one whole plank to make 50, which is, I'm really hoping that it is 50 planks we need. But let's do it. There we go. Notice the skills will go up as we do this. There you go, took a nice three skills, got a hit on them. And there we are. We now have two hull planks. Oh, well, I've got one extra, great. So there we go, that's creating a hull plank. I'm now going to switch to Wormpedia and read the uh, notes. Okay, under notes on Wormpedia. Carpentry skill makes no difference. When creating, the saw's quality affects the success chance. Whole planks will only fit inside of a large cart, not small cart or small raft. Failing to create a plank will reduce the quality level of the log used and give you a small amount of carpentry skill. Success will give you a whole plank which will have quality level matching the current quality level of the log and shipbuilding skill. So there we are, that's all I wanted to read. Okay, let's carry on from my notes. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to get to the uh, a new tool that we're going to need for um, to progress our boat building. We are now, well, let's ask you a question. What tool do you believe we're now going to need? Okay, you've had time to think. I will tell you, we're going to need a rope making tool because here's where it starts to get a bit intense and difficult but thankfully because you're watching this episode I'm gonna make your life so much easier when it comes to making the rope that we're gonna need so but before we get to that let's now progress with uh, making a rope tool here is my first tip to you on the uh, rope tool the type of wood used will determine the tool um, 
the tall material. What type of wood should we use for the... Let's try and explain this again, okay? When you make the rope tool, okay, it uses one shaft and three large nails and, oh, what was it? And a plank, I believe. We'll see in a sec, so I'll bring it up in here. In fact, let's bring it up just so I don't make a mistake. So we want rope tool. There we go, let's just check. So yeah, it's three large nails, one plank, one shaft. Now what I was just trying to tell you, without me sounding like a complete idiot there, let's try again. The wood that you use for the, the shaft, okay, denotes what the finished tool will be made of. So if you use pine, that will make it a pine rope tool. If we use, what's the best wood to use for a wooden tool? Okay, you've had time to think. Of course, cedar. So it's critical that we make the shaft out of cedar. So therefore, when we make the shaft, I've shown you how to make shafts, use a cedar shaft. Now in the cart, I should have, yeah, here we go, some shafts. And there we go, they're cedar. So that's what we're going to put in our pocket. So we need a shaft, we need a plank, let's grab a plank. See, now the plank wood doesn't matter. It's only the shaft which matters wood-wise, not the plank. And of course, we'll need three large nails. So there we go. There's our components. And that's what I wanted to explain to you about the importance of the shaft. Okay, now let's make ourselves this rope tool. So we've got the components. Let's now add it to the crafting window. And there we are. There's our rope tool. So we will now click create. And there we are. We've got the unfinished. So we now right click, add to the crafting window. And so we now just need to add the three large nails. Okay, so continue. Notice it uses fine carpentry as well. That's a good skill to get up. You'll see why in future episodes. Okay, here's our rope tool. Now, I will make an episode specifically on improving. Like I've mentioned in the past, when you see the little icons at the end, that's telling you that that item can be improved, which is something really fantastic in this game. It's what sets the crafting apart from most other games, the level of detail it goes into with improving items. So we're gonna take a look at that in a future episode. Don't worry about it for now. Um, what I will do, now that we've made the rope tool, I'm going to switch to Wormpedia and read the notes to you regarding the uh, rope tool. Okay, so here's the notes from Wormpedia. Carpentry... Well, wait a minute, actually. Let's switch to the right page. Okay, just a few notes. Failure to create results in damage to the plank and shaft. The wood type is dictated by the shaft's wood type. <laughs> well, I've already explained that, so don't worry about that. And lastly, like with many other tools, a high-quality rope tool will increase chance of success, important with harder types of rope, while a low-quality tool will increase skill gain. So there we are, although the skill gain, as we know, is talking more about Worm Online than it is Worm Unlimited, because skill gain is so quick in Worm Unlimited. Um, but the higher your your quality level of your rope tool definitely definitely the better you want to if you can get that as high as you can but at the end of the day because we're in such an early stage we haven't got to imping yet improving don't worry about it you're going to see i'm going to do this with a 9.52 quality rope tool okay so let's go back to my notes now because i finished on wormpedia so that's our rope tool now, here we go. We are going to start on rope making. Now, all of you are going to probably be on one for this skill, okay? Which, this is a brutal skill, okay? 
but I'm going to make it not brutal. I'm going to make it easy and I'm going to make it fun for you. Okay? And I'm going to show you another fantastic tip for getting this skill up nice and easily without having to chew through loads of wemp. Okay, so where do I start? We're going to now need to make a mooring rope. Mooring ropes are hard to make. Wormpedia lists them as medium difficulty, but trust me, they are difficult to make. So what we're going to do is we are going to get your skill up to at least 20 before you attempt to make a mooring rope. Do not attempt to make a mooring rope if your skill is on one because you will burn through all your wemp fibre and you probably still won't have a mooring rope. This is where the skills start to get tricky. But I'm now going to show you how to make it easy. So first of all though let's show you how to make wemp fibre. I know I've shown you in the past but because we need to use it in this episode I shall show you again. Get a wemp plant. You're going to need, I'd recommend, getting 64 Wemp plants. When you've got them all in a stack, right click, left click on crush. When you do that, it'll turn into a Wemp fibre. When you've got 64 Wemp fibres, bring them all up in a huge list, double left click on the very bottom one, right click on where it says the times at the top, and combine. Okay, you can see I've combined combined a stack of them. You could see that because of the weight of the other one a moment ago was fraction. Okay, so we now have Wemp Fibre. Now we're going to use our rope tool with the Wemp Fibre, not to make the mooring rope yet, because we need to get our skill to 20. So what you're going to do is you're going to make 100 bowstrings. Bowstrings, when you make them, use up a fraction of the Wemp Fibre. You are not going to chew through all your Wemp Fibre. It's going to go down very slowly, but it is going to give you a very good skill gain on, ship, on um, rope making. It is going to help your rope making get up to, to what we need it. So either do 100 bowstrings or get at least to 20 in your rope making skill before attempting mooring ropes. So let's show you in the recipe window. Okay, let's move this along. So we'll do mooring rope. And don't worry, I am going to show you the bowstring first, but I'm bringing it up just so you can see how difficult. Add to the crafting windows. Right, you see here it lists now all the items. When you, If you try to do this with your skill at one, this I believe won't even, it will be like this, red, zero. When you get to start getting your rope making up, it will get to about 6%. When you get it to 20, you can see now I'm on 16%. That is still very low. For every five attempts, possibly only one attempt at making the rope will succeed. And that's with it being on 16% and my skill being on 20. So that's what you want to aim for. That's why I say do 100 bowstrings. So let's make some bowstrings to show you the skill gain. And what I want you to observe, I want you to observe not only the weight here, that we eat, that we use, so each time we make a bowstring I want you to observe how little of the material it uses I also want you to observe the skill gain that we get so what we'll do, let's create four and click create okay so let's watch that failed that used one but it failed, off. no yeah, it created one, we got some skill gain. You see it used so little of our went fibre. So little of it. Let's do some more. Notice the skills going up nicely still, even though we're only using a tiny little bit of went. A skill is climbing. You can now see how easy it is to get up your rope making. I did warn you previously to to harp to grow a load of went. So hopefully you've got 100 in your bin by now. That's more than enough to achieve your, your skills. Okay, so right, you know how to do that. You know how to get your skill up. Let's drop them back in there. Let's get rid of that. You're now gonna get your skill to 20, at least 20. 
I'd recommend though making a hundred of them bowstrings. Then your skill be then it'll be even easier to make the um, mooring rope. Bear in mind, as you're training making bowstrings, this will still show. Oops, I need to put the wemp fibre back. This will still show. Let's put that back in there. As you're training, it will still show the original. So let's say you started your skill at one and you've made 30 bowstrings. This list will still show 6%. You when once you've jumped up, say five five levels, right click on the mooring rope again and add to the crafting window and it will refresh them all and it will show you correctly what your new skill level's at. Okay, remember that it's important. Otherwise it'll still say six percent. Refresh it by doing that. Okay, let's make ourselves some mooring rope. So we've got a sixteen percent chance. We've got plenty of WEMP, but watch how much it uses when it does create one. So we'll try making four. Here we go. Failed. 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 Oh yeah, that's what you get when you're on this low. But we will succeed eventually. Notice it is going down much quicker. But it doesn't matter because we've got plenty. Look, we've got another 32 kilograms in there. There we go, there's our mooring rope. We only need one. Job done. We'll just let it carry on. Get a bit of skill gain. But it's expensive skill gain because it's going down much quicker now. That's why you can't practice make your skilling up your rope making, making mooring ropes because it will chew through too much. For now, we'll drop it in there. Now we have finished with the wemp fibre. You only need one mooring rope. So there we go. With the tool, what we'll do is we will put it away in there. There we go. Right, let's check my notes. I'm sorry about it getting dark. Hopefully you can still see okay uh, all what I'm doing. Well, I'm sure you can. Okay, so moving on. Okay, I'm now going to switch to Wormpedia and read um, the information about regarding mooring ropes. Okay, I'm going to read just a couple of things. Description. Mooring rope is a medium difficulty rope used for anchors and shipbuilding. And under notes it says failure to create the mooring rope costs 0.05 went fibre. So there we are, that's all. Just a really quick to mention that. Okay, moving on. Next, we are going to make a an oar. You will need, if you remember I mentioned earlier, we'll need two oars. I've got one made already, so we need to make one more. I want to mention before we do though, notice that you can improve the oar. This is another item, good item for getting up your ship making skill. Okay, just by simply improving it you can get your skill up nicely. Although I must say to you all, I haven't used any improving, apart from improving in the first part of this episode on the keel section, just a slight bit of improving, but I've still got my skill up to 24, and I can't even remember how, I'd, I think it was building the rafts did that, so you've all been building rafts, you should all start having a good shipbuilding skill. As you get to the bigger ships, don't even go there. Don't even think about the bigger ships yet. Too many obstacles in your path. I will guide you there at the right rate, trust me. Okay, so now we're going to build an oar. Like I say, oars are fantastic for building up your shipbuilding skill. So let's make ourselves an oar. Okay, in here. Let's type in oar. There's our oar. Let's add that to the crafting. Oh, actually, let's see what we need. We need a saw and we need a log. Okay, we've got our saw, we should have a log, yep, there we go. We will now add that to the crafting window. Always check what it, that it's the right component, which it is. Now we'll click create. Yep, 
there we go we've got ourselves an ore let's put that in there again we could improve it in fact because we got this log let's just do that why not improve skill goes up nice and the item level goes up improve improve may as well keep improving it while it's just using this bit of scrap wood and there we go it's jumped onto a carving knife we'll leave it there so you've got my skill up some also got the quality level up always good to do that and there we go okay let's throw the wood scrap in there for now and let's throw the log in there okay let's check my notes okay i'm going to switch to wormpedia now and read the notes on the ore Okay, so notes on Wormpedia. The quality level of the saw affects success of creation. Making an ore will only consume eight kilograms of the log, leaving the remainder intact. And uh, like I say, the last good thing about the ore is using it to improve it, to get your shipbuilding skill up. So there we are. Let's move on. Okay, now we are gonna get to the next component which is actually a little more than just making a simple item let me explain we're now going to make pegs we need uh, I believe it said about 50 pegs okay I think I've made how many have I made where have I put my pegs oh goodness there's materials everywhere this is going to go horribly wrong I know it okay now I believe you need 70 pegs so what we're going to do is we're going to make 10 pegs to make a peg you must have shafts okay for each shaft you will get 10 pegs okay because it only uses up um i'll show you i'll show you so here's one shaft that's all we need to make 10 pegs so what we'll do we're going to use the crafting window let's type in peg there we go we're now going to uh, add that to the crafting window there's our peg let's now create 10 pegs so I've shown you how to create uh, shafts in the past okay you are going to need I believe about 70 70 pegs you wait till you get to the bigger ships this is nothing this is easy this is quick okay you hardly need any so let's make 10 there we go, there's one, two, notice our carpentry is going up with this one, it's nice, it's got my carpentry to 57 making these pegs, let's do it more, see how quick it is, doesn't take long, you'll breeze through them, it's only when you start to get up into the hundreds of pegs that it starts to get a bit lengthy, believe me, all of you are capable of making a rowboat, not straight away, do it gradually, but you will be rewarded with a lovely vessel that you can travel around in so it's definitely worth it and there we are there's our 70 pegs okay let's see next we are going to make move on to making tenons we are going to need um where's my tenons where did i put my tenons Oh, there they are. We're going to need 60 tenons, I believe. So let's show you making. Is it 60 or 50? Oh, I don't know. Once we start the boat, we can see exactly what materials we, we will need. Anyway, let's make some tenons. So now for the tenon, it uses a log. So what we'll do, we'll grab a log. Let's grab one of these. Let's grab a chestnut. In fact, let's grab full weight full weight one okay so let's now type in here ten on let's check the components so it's the carving knife and a log so we'll add that okay now just to mention like I mentioned with every shaft you get 10 pegs for every log you will get 17 tenons we only need nine I believe so I'll do 17 why not it's quick to do so what we'll do over here let's add tenons to the window there you go we now have tenons let's just click craft we have our log we have our carving knife 
See, it does our shipbuilding and our carpentry. All good. Watch the log slowly crumble. And observe the number of tenons you get from that one full weight log. Goodness sake, and this is at 57. I'm failing so much. I'm glad that I'm actually I'm glad I'm overdoing the components because I'm a little concerned now that uh, I may not have enough components but I believe it will be the next episode that we start putting the boat together it would have been it would be really nice if I can actually start in this episode to finish this episode off and complete it in the next episode but um, we'll see we'll see how we get on in fact let's check how much time we got left Oh, not long. Four minutes, roughly. The good news is, of course, is we are nearly there. Very nearly there, in fact. Remember, we'll need ten tar, so remember to grab ten tar but we are going to start assembling all the components so we will all see exactly what materials and the amount of materials you will need once we put the two keel sections together which will be in the next part of this episode forgive me that it's stretching along to multiple parts but remember this is for the new players I'm not going to jump anything I'm doing it all yes it's slow but it is to make it easier for people to build the boats cool you wait till we get to the big boats oh dear that is going to be a nightmare right there we are notice logs all used up we have 17 tenons let's drop them up there now there we go as for the wood scraps always keep your wood scraps i did mention that to you before what you do just combine them all and put them away somewhere always very useful for your fires for your forges and your ovens always keep your wood scraps and always put them in a bulk storage bin okay the log because it's got so little left material wise we'll drop it in there we're keeping all of these as well all these tiny bit little bits because what we can do is drop them in a bulk storage bin and then they're all joined together so we're not wasting any materials right okay I will actually stop there I know the alarm hasn't gone but that way I can carry on in the next episode and we can actually start to put these components together there is uh, only one more component we need to make which is the seat but we've only got a minute and a half left so I really don't want to, to waste more time on this I prefer to finish the, the seat in the next part and then we can start to join them all together to make our rowing boat so wherever you are in the world, God bless you all and keep every last one of you safe and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.